What's up everybody? My name is Ricky and this is Cooking Together. Today we have Chef Daniel. Now Daniel, I see pictures of his food all over Instagram, hashtag dinner with the choice, and he has some really elaborate and really complex looking things. I mean like his filet mignon with the chimichurri sauce. I mean these flavors look amazing and it's just so complex and so elaborate and I can't wait to see what he has planned for us today. Check it out. Hi, this is Daniel, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple tuna melt. So for this uh, tuna melt, you begin with uh, 1 8 cup of chopped white or yellow onion, um, 1 4 cup of chopped celery, um, and you also include one can of tuna that is drained. Um, Try, just try to get as much water as you can uh, so that it doesn't become soggy in the end. Um, you also include one fourth cup of mayo. Uh, I use light mayo here. You can do that if you're trying to you know, watch your calorie intake or uh, want to be healthier. Um, also include a generous pinch of salt, um, generous pinch of ground uh, black pepper, and my secret ingredient, a uh, pinch of red pepper flakes if you want that nice kick and heat. You can also put a hot sauce if you want. Um, and then finally put in about half a tablespoon of lemon juice and make sure to mix that really well. To assemble the tuna melt, start with a piece of bread um, and then also put in a generous scoop of the tuna mixture and spread it all around. Uh, be sure to get uh, both sides and make sure it fills uh, but not overfill the bread because when you uh, put it into the frying pan it can uh, leak out over to the side so uh, make sure you don't put too much. And uh, now it's time for the cheese. I use American cheese. Uh, because I think that brings out the flavor a little bit more. You can use cheddar if you want. Uh, normally it calls for one, but you can use two if you want to be extra cheesy. And then put in the final slice of bread. Um, once the frying pan is heated, you want to put about, about half a tablespoon of butter uh, around the pan and melt it. I find that it's better to melt the butter around the pan instead of putting it on the bread. Uh, because I find that it just covers the bread base even more. And then once you do put in the sandwich, use a spatula to gently uh, flatten the bread so that it soaks up all that butter mixture. You wanna heat this up for about, I would say three to four minutes until golden brown, but it can vary on you know, a lot of factors. So you wanna just constantly check and see if that it doesn't burn. So once you find that the bottom part has been golden brown you want to remove it from the pan and then put in another maybe a fourth tablespoon of butter but you can put a half if you really want to make it extra buttery um, swirl that around the pan once again and then put the other side of the tuna melt um, onto the pan so that now that uh, that becomes buttered up as well and uh, Heat it up for, or fry it for about, same thing, three to four minutes until that side is golden brown as well. And then once that's done, you can enjoy the tea.